Yo, what's good, everybody? We got another beers with Barton, and uh, what a day it has been. Today was the first day of Michaela's dance competition, or I should say first dance competition of the season. Um, <clears throat> it, was a, it was a very long day, up at 5.45. Mom did hair and makeup, on the road at 7, got there at 7.30. First dance at 9.30. Uh, first set of awards at like 12. Um, Grabbed mom and Michaela lunch. Came home, let Potter out for a little bit, and went back for the second session, <clears throat> um, which started before I got back. But I was there from about 3.15 uh, till the dance ended at close to 6, 5.45, 6, and then competition. Or I'm sorry, then award. So 13-hour day for mom and Michaela, a long day. But uh, Michaela had two dances. Uh, both of her dances, they scored uh, the highest you possibly could. I think it's platinum was what it is. It was like platinum high gold and gold, they got platinum in both. And then one of their dances, they finished second overall for that uh, category. I think there was 10 or 12 um, <clears throat> routines. So uh, overall good. And uh, the other cool thing was they had a um, improv competition that last minute Michaela said she wanted to do, which is kind of outside of her comfort zone. She's usually a little more reserved. And she just did it, she jumped in and uh, had the experience. So really proud of her, good day and um, you know, I had to get in there with my dance dad, my get it girls. Um, so proud of her. She had a great day. It's a long day. Very tired. Um, just grabbed some quick dinner, pizza and beers. It's almost nine o'clock. So uh, it was like a 13 hour day and I even got a little bit of a break. So gonna do a quick one tonight. Just wanna share how proud I was of uh, Michaela. Number one of four, I think next weekend we don't have anyone, then we have the next two weekends we do, then another week off, and then another one. So the next month we basically have one almost every weekend. So dance competition season here, but we're going to do a quick new anthem. Neon God, it's an Indian pale ale with citra mosaic, double dry hops, water, pale malt, oats, wheat, lactose, citra, Simcoe, and mosaic. It drinks like a 6.9. Huh. That's what she said. Maybe it drinks like a 6.8, and I owe you one, if you know what I'm saying. Anyways, like I said, long day. Um, Aunt Jenny was not here to hang out with us and make the day better. So we're still going to use to not having Jenny around, which is sad. So um, I still miss her face. Best friend ever. But I am going to hang out with my worst best friend ever tomorrow, so I'll make fun of him and make sure he knows that he's not anywhere near as good as the best best friend in the whole world. So, again, Neon God, new anthem to dance competitions. Cheers! Oh, okay. Wowzers. That is so good. Yeah. Sounds like Potter's getting in trouble upstairs. He's probably getting into something because he's been in his crate for 12 hours of the day. It's a little bit long for him, so. Anywho, we are gonna wrap this night up as the Bartons pretty quickly here. Um, Michaela was so tired, she said she, she almost didn't wanna go to dinner. She'd rather just grab something and go home because she needed her bed. Um, but ended up grabbing dinner with a, <clears throat> a friend, her, uh, friend that dances in her her dance group so she was a little excited when she found that out but anyways quick shower for her hey naughty boy um the guilty party has come down to get water um anyways quick shower ready for bed for everyone but uh it's really proud of Michaela not only for her both her dances and her dance group but her putting herself out there and even though she didn't finish as well as she would have hoped in the improv the experience and just having the the guts and the gumption to uh put yourself out there uh jessica and i are very proud of her for that especially it's just so out of her comfort zone and uh great experience for her so dance dad is proud i'm sure dance mom is too cheers to all the parents out there especially the dance dad surviving There's actually a group of dads for another studio 
And a lot of the dances in that studio, they had some props, some really cool props. And those guys were wheeling them in and out. I'm sure some of those guys have built some of these props. And when the competition was over, they're out in front of the uh, performance area. I don't know if they had a U-Haul or someone had a big old trailer or something. But there's like five or six of these guys. And, you know, gave them the tip of the cap. Um, these dance dads, now we put it in. It's not just the dance moms. There's behind every successful dancer is a dance dad who's behind the dance mom. But anyway, my point is we're there. We're doing it. So cheers to all of them. Cheers to successful first competition of the season. Until next time, deuces.